Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over a few new updates in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. It's been a while since I did an update video. The latest one, Doodly 2.11.11, .11, contains a few minor updates, as did the ones before it. It's so easy to blindly click through the update screen without really exploring what the changes are. So that's what we're going to do today. So back in March, we had version 2.10.12 come out and it gave us these following updates. So what does this one mean? Create an option to set a custom thumbnail when exporting a video. Well, when you go hit export, go down here to use custom thumbnail and you can browse for a file. I'm going to just go ahead and drag and drop one that I have. It says custom thumbnail for doodly. And I'm going to hit export. While that's exporting, I want to mention that this is mainly for your file system on your computer. It's not necessarily going to translate over to like if you were to upload it to YouTube, for example these third-party places might not recognize the thumbnail, okay? And you're gonna have to do their manual process. Some of them might, but with so many different systems out there, it's really hard to say. So you'll see here, I had exported it to my desktop and right here it is. So it just shows the file with the thumbnail that I assigned to it. Another improvement is the ability to select, delete, duplicate, etc. of multiple scenes. In the past, you could only do one at a time. Now, you can use the control or command key and click to select them all at once. And then once you have them selected, you right click and you can do whatever it is you want to do. You can duplicate, copy, paste, or delete. So let's go ahead and duplicate them. So now I'm going to go ahead and delete. And our next one is enable the capability to import your Takia sounds. So if you have a subscription to Boomly Cloud and you use Takia, you go to sounds and you click on Takia, it will import all of your Takia audio tracks right here and you can just use them directly inside of Doodly. I do have a lot, so it takes a while to load. Okay, next up we have the add a new dialog to quickly and easily find the character and prop images in the video editor. So what does that mean? So go over to this search bar and then click the magnifier and let's search for dogs. So type in dog. Right away I get a scene that has a dog in it. If we go to characters, I get all of the characters that are interacting with a dog or doing downward dog. That's not the, that's not downward dog, but anyway. And then props. I have dogs and dog accessories here. Probably won't find anything under text. Sounds, any dog related voiceovers or music tracks that you might have will appear. And then if you have the Doodly Marketplace, which I do have, it'll show you all of the packages that have dogs. So if you click in it, you'll see all the dogs. Of course, you can add them directly by clicking and click add to scene. Let's go ahead and close it. And there's our doggy. The ability to hold control and scroll on the timeline lets you zoom in and out. So let's take a look. So I'm gonna hit my command key because I'm using a Mac. So control or command. And then you scroll right or left with your mouse buttons, okay? So I'm shrinking it, and then I'm stretching it out. So this can be really helpful if you have a really long video and you want to see everything at once. I forgot to mention this one, add a recycle bin for restoring deleted projects. So let's go to my videos. You will see I can delete videos just fine. So I'm deleting this test project from, and it's gone. But then, oh, you know what? That was a mistake. So you, you scroll down, you go to the recycle bin, and now let's go find it. Let's just search. So you just select it and then hit restore. 
and then it'll go right back into your main folders. There it is. And with that in mind, version 2.11.11 .11 updated that even further. So now you can delete your videos permanently. So let's go back. Let's go to Recycle Bin and let's just find one. Let's find, I have a bunch of test ones here. So let's take this one and let's say we want that gone forever and ever. So you just delete it and it's permanent. Okay, so anything you delete out of your Recycle Bin is gone for good. Undo and redo functionalities to the pan and zoom settings. So here I have a camera movement and I want to work with it. So here's what I have. So let's go ahead and just look what I have. So I just have it zooming into the sign. Okay. So let's say I change my mind and I want to try it zooming into his face instead. So let's preview that. And then I realize, well, that's dumb because the main action is on the sign. So I could move it down here or I could just use Control or Command Z to undo it. If I want to redo it, it's Shift Command Z to redo. Okay, so undo, Control or Command Z, redo, Control, Command, Shift Z. And then finally, we have the feature to insert a new recording between two existing recordings. So you'll see I have two recordings here and I want to add a new recording. So I just right click, choose record audio. When I'm ready to start talking, I hit the button and then I start talking. And you'll notice that as I get closer to the other audio, it's just going to push it away. So I'm just going to keep talking here for a moment until it gets to that other audio and blah, 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 blah. I'll fast forward a little bit so we don't have to listen to it. And here we go. It's moving that out of the way. And that's basically it. I hope this gives you a better idea of some of the newer updates to Doodly. Thank you for watching.